Okay. Let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with our prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray the prayer for the protection for hands in inclusion Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their court to, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his court team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This this we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, Help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and enhance the inclusion. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was not in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
the, the wounds inflicted upon him due to COVID-19. This is... This is a new case of one who forget to save our lives. Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pag-unahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Incurajo Special Report. Today is Sunday, November 7, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Javeliana Kanahashi and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Incurajo and on the Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. As we commence our show this afternoon, I would like to share with you our daily verse for today from 2 Chronicles chapter 30, verse 9b. For the Lord your God is gracious and compassionate. He will not turn his face from you if you return to him. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Welcome back to our Inclorajo Special Report. We shall now commence our presentation. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation for our Inclorajo Special Report. Today is Sunday, November 7, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Haveliana Kanahashi from Hands in Inclusion, Philippines. In this pre-recorded presentation, we will discuss to you about Diwali. What is Diwali? What is the essence of this event? What is the story about Diwali? And what are the customs? and the activities done during Diwali. So without further ado, here now is our topic in our pre-recorded presentation, which is Diwali. So what is Diwali, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, Diwali is a Hindu festival, which is known to be the festival of lights. The people lit diyas and lights to show the way through for the return for Rama after his 14-year exile. So in layman's term, Diwali is known as the Festival of Lights. Why? Because this is in honor of Rama for his return after his exile for 14 years. So what is the essence of this event, ladies and gentlemen? We celebrate Diwali because it is the festival of lights. It is also celebrated because it is to welcome the return of Ram after 14 years of exile and his victory over Ravana or of Nakas Nara Narakasura by Lord Krishna. What is the origin of the word Diwali? Diwali is from the Sanskrit term Deepa Valley, meaning row or series of lights. It is derived from the Sanskrit words. Deepa means lamp, light, lantern, candle, that which glows, shines, illuminates, or knowledge. A valley means a row, range, continuous line, series. How is Diwali celebrated, ladies and gentlemen? Hindus light up small oil lamps called diyas. Hindus open their doors and windows to let their god Lakshmi come. All the homes are lit up and decorated with rangoli patterns to welcome the great and powerful god Lakshmi. Diwali is also an official holiday in these countries. Fiji, Guyana, India, Malaysia, Mauritius, Myanmar, Nepal, Pakistan, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Suriname, and Trinidad and Tobago. Dan Teras is derived from Dan, meaning wealth, and Teras meaning the 13th. It marks the 13th day of the dark fortnight of Kartik and the beginning of Diwali. On this day, many Hindus clean their homes and business premises. They install diyas, small earthland oil-filled lamps that they light up for the next five days, near Lakshmi and Ganesha iconography. Women and children decorate doorways within homes and offices with rangolis, colorful designs made from rice flour, flower petals, colored rice or colored sand or sand, 
while the boys and men decorate the roofs and walls of family homes, markets, and temples, and string up lights and lanterns. It is also a major shopping day to purchase new equipment, utensils, jewelry, firecrackers, or fireworks, and other items. On the evening of Tanteras, families offer prayers or puja to Lakshmi and Ganesha and lay offerings of puff rice, candy toys, rice cakes, and hollow sugar cakes or batashas. I will tell you a story of Diwali. Each religion marks a different Diwali story and historical event. In one of the main stories in Hindu mythology, Diwali is the day Lord Rama, his wife Sita Devi, and brother Lakshmana returned to their homeland after 14 years in exile. The villagers lit a path for Rama, who had defeated the demon king Ravana. The enactments of this story are part of celebrations in some regions. Another Diwali story in Hindu mythology is that Diwali marks the day Lord Krishna defeated Na Narakasura and freed the people of his kingdom. After he slayed the demon, Lord Krishna declared it a day of festivities. In some parts of India, people burned effigies of the demon kings in both stories as part of the celebration. People also celebrate the Hindu goddess Lakshmi during Diwali. He is the goddess of prosperity, wealth, and fertility. The romantic Diwali story says that she chose Lord Vishnu, one of Hinduism's most important deities, to be her husband on the night of Diwali. In other cultures, Diwali coincides with harvest and New Year celebrations. No matter what story or, or, or any story of Diwali that you celebrate, it's always a day of new beginnings and light over darkness. What are the foods during Diwali? Mithai, these are South Asian sweets and desserts, and it is a staple part of Diwali celebrations. It is made from sugar, condensed milk, and chickpea flour. Chivda is a snack that is part of the Diwali menu, and it came from in the form of chivda, a spice bombay mix that consists of a variety of dried ingredients such as peanuts, fried lentils, onions, and chickpeas. Sometimes it's eaten as part of a meal, but most of the time it's enjoyed on its own as a snack. Laksi halwa is a sweet dish is often eaten on the very first day of Diwali and is made from large green cracked wheat cooked with ghee or cleared butter sweetened with sugar and cardamom powder it is popular and is often served with a yard long bean curry as the beans are thought to represent longevity or longevity alo tiki is a small fried patties made from shredded potatoes and usually served alongside regional sauces such as mint sauce or tamarind sauce. They look and taste a bit like potato pancakes and are usually crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, making them an irreversible traditional Indian delicacy. We also have samosas. They're eaten all year round and it's popular in Diwali. Inside the fried pockets, it is a shape of a triangle and it's stuffed with minced meat, lentils, or vegetables. Diwali, the festival of lights, mark, marks the time when millions of Hindus, Sikhs, and Jains across the world celebrate the triumph of good over evil with beautiful rituals such as festive lights, fireworks, sweet delicacies, and family gatherings. We delve into the Diwali story, history, and traditions to find out how Diwali is celebrated and how you can take part in the magical festivities. 
On behalf of Anthony Inclusion Philippines, we'd like to wish our, the Indian community a happy Diwali. And that's the end of our presentation. Thank you very much and namaste. Okay, as what we have discussed earlier, Diwali is an Indian holiday which is lasting from five days from the 13th day of the dark and it will last up to 14 days only. Why for 13th day of the dark half of the lunar month? It's because Ashrina is the second day of the light half of the lunar month. Kartika is also fall on late October and November. The observances of Diwali is different depending on the region and the tradition in India. Hindus are the most widespread custom of the lighting of Diyas on the night of the new moon to invite the presence of the goddess of wealth called Lakshmi. In Bengal, the goddess Kali is worshipped. In the northern part of India, the festival also celebrates the royal homecoming of Rama to the city of Ayodhya after defeating Ravana, the ten-headed king of the demons, thus connecting the festival with the holiday of Dusetra. In South India, the festival marks Krishna's defeat of the demon Narakasura. Some celebrate Diwali as a commemoration of the marriage of Lakshmi and Vishnu, while others observe it as the birthday of Lakshmi. During the festival, Diyas are lit and placed in rows along the parapets of temples and houses and set adrift on rivers and streams. Homes are decorated and floors inside and out are covered with dangoli, consisting of elaborate designs made of rice, which are colored, sand, or flower petals. Doors and windows should be open because Lakshmi will find her way inside and bless the resident with wealth and success. Diwali is also an important festival in Jainism because it commemorates the enlightenment and liberation of Mahavira, the recent of the Jain Tirhankaras, and the lightning of the lamp celebrates the light of Mahavira's holy knowledge. Diwali is a time for visiting our families, exchanging gifts, wearing new clothes, feet, Feasting, feeding the poor, and set up fireworks. Gambling is encouraged as a way of ensuring, ensuring good luck in the coming year and in, in remembrance of the games of dice played by Shiva and Parvati on Mount Kalisa, Kal, Kalilasa or similar contests between Radha and Krishna. In honor of Lakshmi, in honor of Lakshmi the female player always Wins. Diwali is also celebrated by some Buddhists as a commemoration of the day when Emperor Ash Ashoka converted to Buddhism in the 3rd century BCE. It is observed by the Vajrayana Buddhist minority in the Newar people of Nepal. They celebrate by lighting lamps decorating temples and monasteries, and worshipping the Buddha. Diwali is also a holiday in India because it's also part of the national holidays recognized by India and, and some countries as well. Not only India, but also we have Fiji, Guyana, India, most of Malaysia, Mauritius, Myanmar, Nepal, Pakistan, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Suriname, and Trinidad and Tobago.
Okay, that's a wrap for our topic this afternoon. And now let us move on to our announcements. Here are some of our announcements. First of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. We are selling our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. All sizes worth 275 pesos. For our One Inclusion Nation tote bags, it's available in white and black. Sizes range from medium to large and prices range from 150 to 200 pesos. So how can you pay, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from GCash on this QR code that is flashed on your screen. And we will deliver, we, we will see the GCash QR code in just a moment. We will deliver we will deliver your order on via LBC and GoGo Express here in our country. Just a reminder, the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under the enhanced community quarantine and modified enhanced community quarantine, but it will continue to serve in areas under the general community quarantine and modify general community quarantine. Its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. We, ladies and gentlemen, here in Hansen Inclusion, we really need your help, please. Where they? because we already been struggling with our financial problems in our organization. We need your help here in Hansen Inclusion so that we have the time for us to recover our problems in our finances as well. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger, it would be appreciated for you guys to help us as well. How? Purchasing your products from our online shop and donating to Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. You will see this QR code that is flashed on your screen right now and you will see this in one of our posts on the social media pages of Hands in Inclusion Philippines. You will also use this to pay for your online shop products as well. So guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop and also to donate to Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. Please help Hands in Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization and let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger a better and a bolder hands in inclusion Philippines. And the proceeds from our sales from the online shop and also for your donations will go to us here in Hansen Inclusion, especially for its formality and its expenses as well. So guys, for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to the organization. We have some other events coming up for the month of November in Best Buddies, Philippines. Our next events are on November 13 at 4 p.m. We'll be having Random Acts of Kindness with Gia Jawson on our Best Buddies, Philippines Saturday series of learning. On November 17 at 3 p.m. We'll be having Wellness Wednesday with Coach Pepper. On November 20, 2021, at 4 p.m., we'll be having our countdown to Christmas with Lindsay and Javi. And on November 27, at 4 p.m., will be your Friendsgiving karaoke. So if you want to join the events for November 13, 17, 20, and 27, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram 
send them a message and they will send you the registration form and link as well. So here in Best Buddies Philippines, make a friend, be a friend. Hiraya Gallery and Special Achievers presents the new project sold out. This is in partnership with the special with other PWD organizations and groups. Ateneo Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences and Council, Hanson Inclusion, Little Hands East Kobe UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Tugon Ateneo, UP Collegiate Association of Speech Pathologists, and You Belong PH. So as of last October 30, 17 out of 76 works are sold. So if you want to check this out, check the Special Achievers Facebook page regarding this event as well. So tomorrow, on November 12th, grab your devices and join us on, on the Speed Week of Ateneo Special Education Society. Within this week, through exciting live stream talks, asynchronous activities, and partner area interactions, we will be able to stand with the sector as they experience adversities brought by this trying time. So don't miss out on the opportunity to work with us towards a more inclusive environment. We call you to open your hearts to develop a relationship with our sector and grow as one community by signing up for our activities. And also check the Ateneo Speed Facebook page and keep your eyes peeled on the future announcements on how you can participate in our activities. So what is Speed Week? Well, first of all, Ateneo Speed Week is one of the projects of Ateneo Special Education Society. It aims to develop the connection between the community in Ateneo and our sector. Through a series of talks and interactions, we hope to foster the love everyone ha has for each other by opening the doors to everyone as well. So some of the events coming up for Ateneo Speed are the following. On Monday, November 8th, which is tomorrow, we'll be having a workshop of Filipino Sign Language and a synchronous engagement post one. We will also have Filipino Sign Language Workshop in a flower origami making and an asynchronous engagement post 2 on November 9th. Live stream talk from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, November 10th and asynchronous engagement post 3. We'll be having arts and crafts sec session with SOC at 2 to 4 p.m. and an asynchronous engagement post 4. And we'll culminate the event on Friday, November 12, an animal origami meeting with SRNHS, live stream talk, and a synchronous engagement post 5. Okay. Okay, as here, ladies and gentlemen, if you're feeling hungry, so you may order some of the foods from our Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant. So the menu are the following. For our all-day breakfast, tapa sobra, homemade spam, chicken tocino, and corned beef brisket. So the sizes range from solo, medium, and large. And prices range from 265 pesos to 275 pesos. For our rice trays, we have beef bulgogi, beef yudon, shawarma, boneless fried chicken, pork crackling bits, charred chicken, and pork belly burnt ends. So prices range from 265 pesos to 1,700 pesos. For our buns, our fried chicken sandwiches range from 320 pesos to 380 pesos for the Corned beef sandwich, pulled pro sandwich, and chicken tocino sandwich. Prices range from 370 pesos to 390 pesos. And for our pasta, we only have penne and gorgonzola. It's only 290 pesos. So how can you order, ladies and gentlemen? Head over to the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant. Select the dishes you want to order. Choose between pickup or delivery. Pay conveniently through any of our safe integrated payment methods. 
and your order is confirmed. Check updates via text or email. Follow Hands in Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH, Incorajo Inclus Sports in Tinihan and the online shop. Instagram, Hands in Inclusion PH, Kumu HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, Thank you very much as well. So now is the time for our shout outs and greetings, ladies and gentlemen. To those who are celebrating their birthdays, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also, I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following. To my family, good afternoon. Hi! So, Hansen Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benilde, and other PWD organizations, thank you very much as well. To my high school and college friends, good afternoon as well. And to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood, but if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. To those who are watching us on Inco Radio, thank you very much as well. And also, if you missed this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for its premiere as well. As we wrap up our show this afternoon, I would like to share with you our final words for the day. Diwali is a symbol of hope for humankind. May it be in, bring universal compassion, inner joy of peace, love, and awareness of unity to all. On behalf of Hands in Inclusion Philippines, Happy Diwali and Namaste. Okay. That's a wrap for our Inclaraja Special Report for Sunday, November 7, 2021. I'll be back again tomorrow for our Editorial Monday edition. On behalf of Inclaraja and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, saying may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na watayo ng poong may kapal. May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you very much for watching. Good, a pleasant good afternoon to all and have a productive week ahead. Goodbye and bye for now.